What's the advantage if a guy has trust and emuna in Hashem? Now he says over here, there's something called Omana Akimika. You know what Omana Akimika is? Anybody hear about what Omana Akimika is? This is a guy, I'll give an example. He could take this cup and he could make this into gold. Imagine I tell you a guy, you give him, uh, you give him uh, anything you give him. Take his yarmulke, he could turn it into gold. He has these special uh, substances where he puts it in a mix and he makes the hee-gee-bee-gee hay and then he's able to make it gold. So wouldn't you say this guy, who's better? This guy or a person who has bedachon and Hashem? Again, you hear what's going on over here? So we're not going to just say, of course, obviously, that was the right answer, obviously. You know, I wouldn't be asking the question if I didn't know that you knew the answer. I, knew the, I know you guys know the answer. But now when I ask you why, now you give me 10 reasons why. So he gives me 10 reasons why. Can you give me 10 reasons off the bat? Maybe you have one or two. Go, so you know. So I'll tell you what he says. This is Soli Kabani. He's saying what he's saying. Hazar Baruch. Let's see what the word Levot says. You ready, Soli? <laughs> yeah, give us nine more, Soli. <laughs> oh, now he's praying. Now he's praying. I can't say. Okay. Anyway, let's see what he has to say, right? What Levot says, this guy <coughs> who could turn anything into gold, you know what the problem is? He needs substances in order to change it into gold, correct? For example, if I don't have the, the silver, I can't turn the silver into gold. I don't have the silver. If I don't have the yarmulke, I can't turn it into gold. If I don't have the, the cup, I can't turn it into gold. He just has an ingredient. Exactly. He needs that ingredient. All right? However, especially also, he's also limited. He needs his laboratory. So he needs the place. He needs a substance. He needs a laboratory to do it. But a person, he writes, Chodzavah says, Ve'ilu avoteh belokim. But if you trust in God, you trust in Hashem, Parnasato muftacha lo miko mash nimsan ba'olam. His parnasa is anywhere. I don't need any ingredient. I don't need any laboratory. A guy could be in Timbuktu. He could be anywhere in life. And you see that. Go speak to wealthy people. I don't know how it happened. I was sitting on uh, a table once. A few of the boys were speaking. A few of my, uh, few of my, my, a few of my friends were speaking. All of a sudden, I hear a guy, he donated a million dollars. Donated a million dollars, I'm not joking, to a charity, a million dollars. I said, what? That guy, remember that guy? He didn't even have a dollar. How could he have a million dollars so fair? I knew the guy five, six years, what were he talking about? He says, oh yeah, the last five, six years, he started dealing with a, with a, with a buyer, and within five years, he became a multi, multi-millionaire. What happened? <laughs> Why? Because you don't have to rely on anything. Parasa can come like that. A guy has no parasa in a year. The guy's a multi-millionaire. What happens? He started selling socks and became a millionaire. From socks! From socks! You hear what's going on over here? That's what Chavad is teaching us. Chavad is teaching us that, well, if your person has bidachon and kadosh baruch wherever you are in life, you can get from Asai, you don't need a laboratory. And not only that, he's saying that what? You don't need any substance. You understand what's going on? And I'm going to read you the Pasuk that he says. You know what he says? Listen, Joey, listen what he says. He writes over here. Hashem gave us the man. What's the man? I was driving with a, 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 a taxi driver yesterday. A Muslim guy picked me up. And he tells me, you know Musa? I said, who oh, Musa? Moshe? I yeah, know Moshe. He said, well, Hashem gave... He's talking about God. He said, God gave him food from heaven. He tells me, don't be cheap. I want to charge you this amount. Pay me, you're Jewish. You're rabbi. <laughs> As the guy's telling me. God will send you from heaven. He's talking the man. You know what the, you know what the people did? You know, Moshe Rabbeinu, when they held the man afterwards, you know that they, they held the man in a jar? They held the man for every generation. And then Avi would say, you see this man? You see this? Jar, this is the man. God can provide wherever you are. God can provide wherever you are because it's not the lechem levado yichia ha'adam. Ki akum osafi Hashem yichia ha'adam. It's not the bread that we rely on. We rely on the God that gives us. This is one example that he says and we'll continue tomorrow. Hopefully the other example as well.